Hi, I'm Chris Fox, lead gameplay designer on Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, and I'm here with our creative director, Justin Weeb, to talk about our newest update, Legends of the Lawn. A new game mode we'll be introducing soon is called Taco Bandits. Taco Bandits is our take on sort of a classic capture the flag, but of course using cool tacos as the thing to get. You know, Crazy Dave has a fortified taco in every map, and the zombies are trying to get it. So the zombies need to capture three tacos from the plant's taco stands. But the plants know the zombies are coming, so they have fortified their area. They've set up frontline defenses, they've got potted soil bags, uh, you know, lining the area, they've got lookout towers. They can plant their potted turrets for the first time in any arena where they can now try to hold the line against the zombie advance. But the zombies can now summon brown coats or whatever AI they want from the grave dirts, so they can actually try to overwhelm the plants with just sheer numbers. I think it's gonna it's gonna leave a lasting impression on this is what capture the flag could look like. You know, it doesn't have to be just a flag anymore. We have seven brand new characters for Legends of the Lawn. We'll start with the zombie side. We have the Centurion, who is our Roman-inspired soldier variant. He has a single-shot, semi-automatic weapon, does fire damage on impact, you know, very fast, very accurate, good at range. Uh, there's also the paleontologist scientist, which might be my favorite of this new pack. He's basically got, like, the bones of a Tyrannosaurus on him, mixed in with a little bit of Triceratops on his head. He shoots molten magma, so whether you're at range or up close, he does fire damage, which burns over time. It's unique for that class. There's the, the sanitation expert. He's a, a stinky, toxic-based engineer. He's basically a decked-out garbage man with garbage strewn all over him, uh, and he's going to be shooting some fairly toxic garbage blasts at you from his trash can launcher. And finally, on the zombie side, we have the Golf Star, who is the All-Star variant. He's almost like a sniper. He has the fastest rate of fire in the game. Also has more zoom than a standard All-Star, so we, we made him kind of uh, accurate at range and, and not so accurate when you're not zooming. Moving on to the plant side, we have the Chomp Thing, who is our kind of swamp monster-inspired chomper. Uh, he's kind of gross. He shoots bugs and, and mud and dirt and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, his kind of trick, though, is that he enters his health regeneration state faster than any other chomper. So if you're taking a little bit of damage and you can actually get away from the battle, you'll heal up much faster. Moving along to my personal favorite of the new characters, that's the Alien Flower. This is very different for the Sunfire class. She actually shoots kind of spores that explode when they hit the ground and they linger in the air for a couple of seconds. So you can kind of make little traps where you're, you're shooting the ground and zombies are walking through it and taking damage. Finally, on the plant side, we have the Jade Cactus and she's our slower moving, higher health cactus variant. Her weapon uh, sticks in the ground for a second and then explodes. Um, so it's a kind of a new twist on how the cactus plays. If you hit players directly, the damage happens right away. But if you hit the ground, you, know, you can kind of time it and wait for people to run towards you. We know PvZ fans love customizing their plants and zombies, and we've got more stuff for you. Uh, kind of the new thing here is the concept of a set. So we have, uh, you know, hats and glasses and facial hair and stuff that's meant to go together. Things like the farmer set and the boogie your brains out set, and we have a skunk for the cactus, all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, they look really great together, but if you want to mix and match and make your own unique look, that's really cool too. There's a ton of new customization in this update, so I encourage you to go find it all. One of my favorite customization sets is for the pea shooter, and it's, it's Mass Effect inspired, so it's very high tech and, and kind of clean looking. It looks really good when you put it on the uh, the plasma pea shooter, so check that one out for sure. And we have some new consumables this time around as well. Uh, starting with the plants, we have the laser bean, who you may recognize from pvz 2s Far Future. Uh, he shoots blue lasers out of his eyes, so he's pretty good from a medium to long distance. We have the heal zombie, who will try to seek out injured zombies and top up their health. He's going to be really effective, I think. We also have the Yeti Imp. He'll run at you and explode and try to freeze you. The team had a ton of fun making this pack. You know, between the seven new characters, the new game mode, and all the, the crazy new customization, we're really excited to see what the players think. So uh, pick it up, get your hands on it, and let us know what you think.